When autumn arrives, the rooks start talking from the treetops. What's so important to be talking about exactly at this time of year, we are not sure, but it sounds chirpy and interesting. The spiders have been busy too overnight. The heavy dew makes it possible to really appreciate their works of art. Tim's brother Mike and his wife Rosie visited us for a few days in early September, just in time because I ended up being a bit of an invalid when I got an infection in my foot and needed to be on crutches. They worked really hard on helping us make a start on a fence around Sam's woodland. We are having a get-together on the 3rd of November for all who knew Sam and want to join us in planting a woodland in his memory. Get in touch if you'd like to come along. Whilst we were busy in the field, our guinea pigs had four babies. They are such amazing creatures, born with hair and fully developed, ready to go and join into daily life. With all that's been happening here, I didn't manage many trips to our polytunnel all summer. But when I finally had a look again, I was surprised how well everything had been growing without any special care. The sweet corn is ripe. And so are the kidney beans. And the winter squashes. the tomatoes. The lemon verbena could be picked and dried for herbal teas. and the aubergine might still make it with a bit more warmth. The grapes are ready to be picked too. They usually attract many, many wasps for a sugary feast, but none at all this year. That's worrying. There are so many grapes and they are usually all ripe at once. So I decide to make some juice in our steam juicer.
Oh, I'm steam. And then it was time to go fishing again to catch some dinner and some spare fish for the freezer. We usually catch mackerel around here and those calm, still September evenings out on the water are just wonderful. Lots of lovely fish again. Especially when we come home with a plentiful harvest. Someone suggested that donkeys love playing with toys. So I dug out this old bouncy ball for them. Not much of a reaction. Eating grass is more fun for them, it seems. September is also blackberry time. You like them, Sean? You picked them yourself. Whoever sees me in the field picking usually comes and joins me in hope for a few hand-picked snacks. But when I can't pick fast enough, they also take things in their own hands or, should I say, muzzles. Until recently, we were very proud of our 50 or so magnificent goldfish in our small pond. Then, one morning, they were all gone, or so it seemed. Later that day, Tim spotted the culprit and caught him on camera, coming back for the very last fish. Of course, we really like herons, but we also like our fish. Any suggestion how we could enjoy the company of both? And when things get too dull or gloomy here, Trudy guarantees us the odd laugh about new pastimes she keeps on coming up with. This month, horsetail surfing. Thanks for your continued support at this difficult time. Kind messages keep coming in and we are grateful. <laughs>